Right. Okay, we are recording. All right, you guys, are you ready for this? <laughs> so, if you don't know, obviously we have Tiffany here tonight. I'm sure that's why we have so many people jumping on because she brings it. And I joined with Tiffany. I was uh, her second distributor to sign. And let me just tell you that she changed my life. And I know she has literally inspired so many over the time. So this is going to be a little bit of a different Zoom. We're going to, she's going to just bring the fire for you guys. But at first, I kind of want you to, to kind of get into like how you went diamond so quickly. If you guys do not know, Tiffany went diamond in 30 days. Double in 60, triple right after that. So Tiffany, if you just want to get started on, you know, how you went so quickly and what do you think was the most, you know, the number one, number two, number three things that got you there? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for having me on here. I'm like so excited. I see so many amazing faces on here. People maybe that I haven't even met yet, make sure you reach out to me if you want to add a message or whatever. Um, and we can totally talk. I love meeting new people and connecting with you and just making you feel good <laughs> because you deserve it. Um, but yeah, okay. So I went diamond in 30 days. And when people ask me that, I say, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I do know. But I mean, I really don't. I've kind of blacked out for 90 days. Like, it's like... 30, 30, 30. Okay. I don't know what just happened. And actually my roller would tell you that at one point I was like, is it cool if I just am done? Like this guy was like, no, you're not like, you got to keep going. And I was like, I just, I can't like triple's not going to happen. Like I'm not feeling it. Like we're not going to go there. She was like, you're going because you're there and you're not going to not let it go. And I'm like, all right. So she also helped me a lot to push me to get there. So, um, but yeah, my first 30 days, let's just say like you guys, I had never tried a product before. Okay. I knew nothing about it works. And to give you guys reference, I had never done anything like this before. Okay. So the first things first is if you don't 100% believe in what you're selling and what you're doing right now, then you're never going to go anywhere in this business. Bottom line. And if you're not telling your team that you need to be honest with them. You know, being people always say like, oh, I'm going to go be red or I'm going to go be like Tiffany. And, and when they say go be like Tiffany, they're saying like red. Red isn't a bad thing. It, it's not a bad thing. It means you're being honest with people and people like honesty. You guys, what I notice when and I'm getting a little off subject, but I, I feel like you guys are going to be cool with me just going, or, you know, here and there off whatever. But, you know, when I did a video the other day and everyone's on there and I can speak real with everybody, you guys see people are hyped about that. And you'll see people comment and say like, damn, you know, you just gave me a reality check and I'm, you know, I wasn't feeling it at first, but then I was like, you're right. Like I will, I haven't been doing all the things I need to do. People respect people who are honest with them. They want honesty. So don't lie to your teams if they're not doing good or if they're not signing people and say, you're doing such a great job. Congratulations. Like you're out here working it when they're not doing anything. Don't lie to them. Fit, you know, ask them, say, hey, you know, what do you feel like you're doing? What do you feel like you could do better? What do you feel like I can do to help you get better in your business? So anyway, going back to it where we just started, if you don't 100% believe in what you have in, well, that's a freaking problem. Like I, like I said, I never tried a product before. I didn't need to try products. I saw the before and afters. That's all I needed to know. And if I'm going to put my money into a business, then you better damn well believe that I believe 100% in what I, what I have. And let me tell you something, I believe my, our products, and I, I keep saying my because this is how I feel when I talk to people, I, I know my products are better than anyone's out there. I know that for a fact. Tell me my daily vitamin isn't better than yours. Tell me my shake isn't better than yours. Tell me that you have a route. Okay, you don't have a route. So I know what I have, and, and people are going to say, well, where's your confidence coming from? It's coming because if you're going to be in something, then you better freaking 155% back what you have. Like, look up what we have. Our, our ingredients couldn't get any better. They really couldn't, and, and they just only continue. It's like every year, Mark's like, you know what? I'm going to make it even healthier. Now everything's freaking vegan. And it's like, it doesn't get any healthier than what we have. Our greens are literally vegan. Our shake is vegan, dairy-free, soy-free. Like, you guys need to be out there telling people, like, when you see someone drinking a shake, my shake is better than that. Like, I see girls all over my Instagram. I comment every single day all over their stories. When they're in the morning time and they're drinking their shake, I'll comment and I'm like, dude, I got a shake that's way better than that. So much healthier. And they're like, are you for real? And I'm like, oh, I'm so for real. I'm like, mine's soy-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. Like, I, I go on. And they're like, 
holy sh- seriously and i'm like yeah you need to go to my website you need to look this out and they're like they check it out and they're like damn your ingredients are legit and they're like we love that it's only 100 calories like you need to tell people why your product is better than other people you need to believe in what you have and your belief comes from you like i can't teach you that mark and cindy can't teach you that the only person that's going to teach you that is you so if you're on here and you're like well i'm not that i'm like i'm not a super confident person well congratulations i'm not a super confident person outside of it works either but if it works, I am, because if I'm going to sell something, then I need to be 100%. I need to back what I'm, what I'm selling. And I really do believe this, though. But this is the thing. If you don't believe it, well, that's a problem. And maybe you need to use the products more yourself and get your own results so that you do feel that way. Like, I saw my results after McKenzie, and I went from 195 pounds down to 136 pounds in three, less than three months. Like, came into conference, and people didn't even recognize me. That's how small I got. Okay, so tell me my products don't work. And I don't work out. <laughs> I'm just honest. I freaking hate working out. <laughs> People are like, if you were tired, the results would be even better. I'm like, congratulations, but I'm not. <laughs> I'd probably be like 120 and I'd be so hyped, but I'm never gonna do that. So I'm just kidding. I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna get better at working out because it's gonna make it a priority. People are like, why don't you work out? And I'm like, well, because, well, because I don't make time for it. And they're like, wow, you're really honest. I'm like, I can't say I don't have time for it. I do have time, but I don't make time because I don't want to do it. So, okay. Believing in yourself 100%, believing in the products you back, that's how it started with me when I first got started. I started messaging people immediately too. If you're on here tonight, there's 127 of you, and you are not messaging people daily, that's a problem. That means you're posting, and you're expecting people to like and comment and ask you for what you have. That's not their job. This is net work marketing, not net wish marketing, okay? We don't get to wish for things to come to us. We have to work for things to come to us. If you want to be at the top of this business, there's somebody working harder than you right now. And actually, there are people off this this right now that are working harder than us, sending messages, doing a power hour, whatever, okay? Outside of the Zoom. This is the thing, you guys. You know what to do. And some of you guys are going to hear me tonight and you're going to be like, kind of like, damn, like she didn't really even tell me much that I didn't already know. And, and that's why when Megan reached out to me, she said, we don't really want very many tips. Like just get on here and, t- and be real with us. And I was like, all right, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give it all real to you. Whatever you need, I got you. I will give it to you real. I'm not always tip anyway, because I, I believe that we have every freaking tip we need. Everyone's getting on Zoom 24 seven, waiting for someone to give them a fucking secret sauce. And I'm like, there is no secret sauce. The secret sauce is work. Like sending a message. Some of you are so busy in your minds. You're, you're scrolling through all damn, all damn late, like day long, scrolling through your freaking Facebook and Instagram, waiting for someone to come to you. It's like, that's not getting you anywhere. Posting isn't getting you anywhere. What's get like, I can post one time a day on Instagram and just, just, I need to make sure I say this. I always say this. And most of you guys know, like not everyone's like this, but please, you can go to my Instagram. That's fine. But please do not follow me. Like I will block you. And if you already blocked, it's nothing against you. I just do not allow anybody that works to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, everything's fine. My Instagram actually looks exactly like my Facebook, but less actually. I probably post on, on Instagram maybe two or three times, if that a day. But do you know what I'm doing in the background? I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm messaging. That's all I do. And I'm interacting because I'm daily adding new people. And so the next day, if I want to post one time and get 500 likes on a picture, I will do that. But my picture is up to par with Instagram and people, what you have to realize with Instagram is people are looking for fancy, nice looking pictures of your, of you holding the bottle with French fry, like things like that. That's what people want to see. That's just how face, that's just how Instagram is. And some of you are probably thinking, I hate Instagram. Like it sucks. I was the same way. Now I seriously hate Facebook. I wish I could delay it. I'm just being honest. I think Facebook is so negative. I think people are so closed off. And Instagram, people love that you love them. They love it. Like Instagram is meant for you to get on someone's profile that you don't know and like and comment on their pictures. That is literally what Instagram is for. So if you're scared to message on Instagram, you need to wake up, okay? Because people want you to message them. People want you to comment on their stuff. People want you like, I have never, and I'm not going to say this, 
I have never had a single person on Instagram when I messaged them said anything mean back to me. Okay. So yes, they might not respond, but they're not saying anything mean, mean back to me. Facebook. Oh my God. It's how, I don't know you. And I'm like, okay, so can we be friends? Like, what do you mean you don't know me? Okay. Well, can we be friends? Like on Instagram, people are like, yeah, let's be friends. Like all my pictures, comment on all my stuff. Give me all the love. Tell me I'm pretty. Like all day long. And I'm like, you're pretty. I love you. Get on Instagram. You guys start utilizing Instagram commenting on people's stuff, using the story. I'm on the story all day long. I'm hashtagging stuff on the story. I'm adding things at the store. Like I'm telling you guys, Instagram is a game changer. And I'm telling you this because you deserve to know this. I used to be the biggest hater of Instagram because I felt like it was, it was like, a, it was like, it's so much work, but it's not like if you interact with somebody like five or six times, I'm not even kidding. Like just a little bit like liking their pictures, commenting. When you mention them, they're like, oh my God, girl, actually, yeah, I have been seeing your stuff. You know, what do you do? I don't even know what you do. Do you just stay at home? And I'm like, no, this is what I do. So messaging people and actually asking them is a lot different than just posting all day long and expecting people to come to you. If you're teaching your team to post all day long, and actually, I'm going to tell you right now, my newest people, I don't even encourage them to post a million times a day anymore. You know what I encourage them to do? send a million messages a day. Like my girl, my Evansville girl has been in for, I have a huge Evansville team building right now. Like massive. I'm telling you right now, you guys, she will be an ambassador by next year. She will be 100%. She's been in for two months. She's about to go Emerald. She'll be diamond by the end of January, probably double by the end of February. Like she will be an ambassador. She's my next ambassador. She is so strong. And you know, and she posts maybe two or three times a day at the most. Her team posts maybe two or three times a day at the most. And they're all signing between 15 to 16 loyal customers of a month. They're signing, you know, four to five distributors a month. And these are new distributors. And you know what they're doing? They're asking. They're literally asking every single person on their social media to be a part of what they do. And if they don't respond, they just follow them up with them in a couple of days. And I'm, and I'm kind of going like back and forth, back and forth, but this is all, this is all how it got me in 30 days to where I'm at. It came with belief that it came with asking. And I really didn't ask people guys. I told people, I said, listen, I just signed up and I really need you to be a tester for me. Like not just 90 days. And of course you say just 90 days, but then they're obsessed with the product when you stay on top of them. I have so many people from when I started that are still ordering. My GV or my PBV, you guys, is out of this world, over a thousand a month. My personal bonus volume. That's how loyal my customers are to me that order from me. And I don't keep my loyals. So I'm just telling you that right now. You stay on your loyals and you're respectful for that to them and you're keeping track of them. How do I stay? Okay, I'm sorry, I should be looking at this over here. <laughs> Tiffany, I'm just reading your comment. <laughs> She's 17. She doesn't know. <laughs> um, how do you stay on top of your loyal customers? I just have like a little notebook um, or even in my little, my note. I do have, I have them in my notepad too. Like I'll just put like the date that they signed, like January, February, March. And I just put the date that they signed and I just follow up like monthly. That's it too. I don't follow them every day. I don't follow them every month or every week. I just follow them once a month. How's everything going? You know, what, what products did you order this month? And it's usually always the beginning. It's, it's usually not the first because I don't want to look too robot -y. I'll go like the second or the third. But if I know that their products are coming out before, then obviously I'll reach out before then. But for the most part, most products are coming out at the end of the month. So I'll always reach out like the second or the third. And I'll say, hey, girl, how's your product going? Are you loving the confianza? Are you loving this? You know, do you want to switch something? Or I even say like, dude, you need to see my results. Like make it about you sometimes so that they're like, oh my God, dude, no way. And you're like, yeah, dude, I wrapped last night and this is the results that I got. Have you, do you want to try the wraps again? Or, you know, like be friends with your loyal customers. Like they're ordering from you. They're paying you. Like you're getting paid off them. Be friends with your loyal customers. Have fun with them. It's okay to have fun, you guys. Let's forget. Let's not forget too. This business is about having fun. Some of us take this way too seriously. We take ourselves way too seriously and we're out here just like trying to be like just serious 24 seven. It's like, you can have fun. You can laugh. <laughs> you can make stupid videos. You can whatever. And people love it. <laughs> just have fun with your people. Um, 
The next thing we all know, or some of you may not know, is wrap parties, okay? And some of you want to gag right now because you're like, ew, I do not want to set foot in someone's house that I don't know and I don't want to invite girls <laughs> over to a party. Like, you need to have wrap parties, okay? They are fun. I, I'm telling you this right now. I just had a wrap party like a couple weeks ago. And if any of you, uh, well, my wrap parties, I like to tell people, if you know your friends are going to come to the wrap party because you have wine and food, have wine and food. Like, you guys, we're not the typical party. Like, yes, we're health and wellness, but we're also a lifestyle. So that can be the night that they're having their cheat day and enjoying wine and food that they normally probably wouldn't eat and listening to your products and hearing about what you do. Most people, when they come to the parties, they're like, wow, like I didn't know you had all these products. That's why you get in front of people that normally you wouldn't get in front of, right? So all I can say, you guys, is that, you know, being confident, being excited, having rat parties is so, so important. If some of you are probably saying, well, how do I have a rat party? Like some people, like, I know you're thinking that you're like, well, how do I get someone to even host a rat party for me? You tell them to host a rat party for you. I was literally calling my friends and saying, um, Hey, next Thursday, um, I need you to host a rat party for me. And they were like, and my friends were not supportive. Just so you guys know. Because a lot of people, I know a lot of people, at first, when I first started, they were like, well, your friends probably are like really supportive, right? And I'm like, actually, no, my friends didn't buy anything for me. And they still don't. Just so you guys know, my close group of girlfriends, actually the ones that I'm having my Christmas party with this weekend, none of them are my loyal customers. They all use proteins, daily vitamins, but will not hurt for me. They're just assholes. <laughs> that's just how they are. And they would know that. And I'm just saying that because that's true. If you don't like cussing, I apologize. I cuss. So I'm going to drink my water real quick. But seriously, they just, they are who they are, but who cares? They don't have to order from me. Guess what? Guess who's still successful? Me. Guess who's still going to be successful? You. You're still going to be successful without your little five group of friends and your little close knit family. Like, it's going to be okay. Just because your friends and family aren't supportive, you need to remind your teams that it's okay. They're going to be the ones that don't, they're going to be actually the ones that probably don't support you the most, just being honest. We, I mean, you guys know that. I feel like every single one of you on here, like, kind of already knows, like, a lot of stuff I'm saying. I see uh, someone drinking wine, Kayla Starker. I see you drinking wine, girl. Cheers to you. Oh, wait a minute. Danielle? Marie, okay, girl, I see you with your big beer. Look at you. Okay. Because, you know, we do whatever we want because we're rap girls. And it's a, t what is it? When's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. See, I don't even know what day is. <laughs> Nikki's laughing at me. And it's a so, Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. So, Tiffany, what do you think everybody should do this month to get ready for the next couple months coming up? Like, you say messaging, but their mindset, like, what should they be doing every day to keep their mind right? Okay. Uh, a couple months. Yeah. Let me, well, okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the months coming up. You guys understand. I hope you understand what you're doing right now. And I promise you that like it is going to show what you are doing right now is going to show in February, March, April, May, all those months where people get their tax check. And they're ready to find something to put their money towards. How many of you are going to say, I wish I would have reached out to that person because they joined someone else because you were too scared to message them or you thought they were too good to be in a business. Do not count anyone out. Let me tell you something. And, and, I, and I, need, I need to talk to you guys about this really quick. Uh, and Alyssa would be proud of me for talking about this. One time I remember asking Alyssa and this was, this is recently. Like I'm talking a couple months ago because for those of you guys that don't know, Alyssa Billy was a big time blogger. Okay. Before she started, it works. Um, and her and I met at a baby shower and I'm going to go into this because I think some of you guys need to hear this, especially for those of you that are on Instagram. Um, she was a big time blogger and I met her, um, through a, at a baby shower and we asked each other. And of course at the time, I didn't know that, you know, I, I, I knew when she added me on Instagram, I was like, oh my God, 
scroll has 23,000 followers. Like, what the hell does this girl do? So she's liking and she's commenting and she's doing all these things. You know what she told me? Just a couple months ago, I, I reached out to her and I said, dude, I don't know why, but I'm so scared to reach out to these blogger chicks. Like, and she was like, you're scared to reach out to blogs. I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, like, why would I not be scared? They're intimidating. They like got it going on. She goes, most bloggers get their stuff for free. So it doesn't mean they have money. It doesn't mean they're rich. It doesn't mean they have anything more than you do. And they probably have less than you do. She goes, me and Michael were living on food stamps and it, it looked like I was rich because these because I was a blogger, like the people wanted to give me things so I would talk about what I had. And I was like, and it's, I hope some of you guys are thinking light bulb because we are so quick to judge people because they have things, but where are they getting these things from, right? It doesn't mean that they're necessarily buying them themselves. So this is what I'm getting at. If you have someone on your timeline today, tomorrow, whatever, that you are intimidated by, I want you to send the message because I would have never have known. I will tell you this right now. Uh, Alyssa reached out to me and let me just tell you, tell you, thank you heaven. Right? Cause Alyssa is one of my biggest, like she, she's amazing. She's signed, you know, Aaron Tweed is ambassador and in Brittany, like, she has, she's an amazing person. She's so good at this business. And, but if she wouldn't have told me, you know, I would, I, you know, if she would have reached out to me, I wouldn't have known, but I didn't even know that she needed this because she looked like she had it all going on. So what I'm getting at is that just because you think someone has it going on or just because you think someone has it all, it doesn't mean they do. So do not, I don't want to see you on your Instagram scrolling past people and not messaging them because you're too scared. Okay. Let me tell you how my power hours work. I get on Instagram, okay? And when I go on, when my 10 minutes are to send messages, you know what I do? I pull down and I go, okay, and I start from the top. And I go and I message every, and then I go to the next person. So we got next person, next person, next person for 10 minutes, I go down. Guess what? Some of you guys are probably thinking, do you even like make a, I don't know. I probably have. I spend a lot of time interacting. Even if I didn't, who cares? What are they gonna say, no? You guys think Jade Hooper is where she is because she's worried about what people are gonna think? Just ask you that question. She's, number, she's in top five, okay? She doesn't care and neither do I. Like, I'm sure some way, somehow, I'd like a picture or two because I'm pretty good at that. And even if I send a message and it's me being nice and they don't respond well, well, that's on them. But let me tell you something, I've never, and I mean this, I don't have people send anything mean to me back on Instagram. It's normally like, hey girl, thank you so much, I'm not interested. Or hey girl, actually, I have been following your thing, I just don't know if it's for me like right now, but I, you know, I get done with schooling in two weeks. You know, like whatever, they, they respond. But just still continue to love on them and message them. Um, let's see. Okay, so what exactly am I messaging people? Good, good question. Would you guys like me to go? All right, let's see. There we go. Let's see what my last message was. Okay, so my last message right here. Sorry, I literally just sent like a million messages before I got on here. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so my, la my current message that I'm sending right now is, All right, girl, you know I've been following you for a while. I'm totally obsessed with you. I think you would be awesome at what I do, and I am interested to know if you'd want to make some extra income. Okay, so, hey girl, you know I'm obsessed with you. I've been following you, and it, they don't know, guys, I I'm, I'm promise you, they don't know if you've been following them for a while. I've been following you for a while, and I, and I think you'd be really good at what I do. Have you ever thought about making extra income from your phone? Or have you ever thought about making extra income? I'm telling you right now, if you just say the extra income thing at the end, they always go, well, yeah, but how do I do that? And my response, because some of you guys are waiting, 
If they say no, how do you turn it into asking them to be a customer? Okay, so if they say no, you know, I'm not really interested, I'll say, well, I'm not sure if you use any type of supplements or if you use any type of like protein powders um, or skincare, but I have really, some really, really, really amazing products. Would you be interested in looking and see if there is anything you could replace um, in, in position with what you have with what I have? And I'm serious when I say, every time I've said that, people are like, yeah, I'll take a look, why not? And normally, I'm serious, like they, the biggest products that people see that they're interested in is, oh, okay, let me tell you something, if you're not promoting Confianza, you need to talk a lot about it, because I swear, every time I give someone my website and they see Confianza, it just blows people's mind that we have a product that's naturally based, and it's not addicting, and it can help calm you down. Because guess what, guys? I know you know what I'm thinking. Like, there's a lot of products that can calm you down, but they're addictive. So when people see that there's a product, and I mean, I don't know what the stat is, but can, I mean, can we be honest? How many people out there do you think are stressed day? Like, really? I mean, we really do have so many good products, dude. I can't, like, th just thinking about it gets me hyped. Like, if you're not hyped about our products, you really need to talk about it. Yes, Nikki, thank you so much for posting that on there. Um, okay, so uh, what, what else are we going into? Megan, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're, <laughs> this is exactly what we wanted to do, is hear you just go on a rampage about how amazing <laughs> you are. <laughs> so, okay, well, I can keep going on a rampage. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I can keep going. I can go for another hour. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not going to make you stay up for another hour. Uh, Laura, so yeah, um, Laura, Colette, um, Katie, do you guys have anything else you want her to go over? I mean, I think she pretty much killed it since she started speaking. Honestly, you guys, I think the biggest thing for everybody um, is, you know, like we hear everything about like just send the message, don't be scared. But I think all this stuff about, you know, you kind of helping us with exactly what you're saying and how you're going about your work and like just what you have to do because I think for 90% of the distributors it's like okay yeah we know we can do it we have all this belief we've heard all that stuff but then half people are like but what do I do and so I think that's all good stuff yeah and you know what I can just encourage you guys too to make sure you guys are doing zooms that don't involve training and more involve power hours like I, I've heard Pam say it a million times and I think Corporal is starting to get super annoyed because we're out here having a thousand Zooms and they're like, okay, we get it. We appreciate your Zooms, but how about a power hour where you guys are actually working? And our team has really been doing a really good job and, and just trickling down too. I'm not saying I'm even leaving them. I'm saying our team has just been leaving them by themselves saying, hey, I'm about to hop on. Does anyone want to hop on with me? And people are hopping on with them. And me too, Nikki, I love them too. And just our, you know, just coming together with your team, you guys, and they're fun. Like we put music on and everyone's like, like, of course I, I put on like goofy stuff. Like I'll put on Britney Spears and like, you know, in sync and like everyone's just having fun. And I'm like, all right, get ready guys. And like, I'll start my timer in like 10 minutes and like everyone's interacting and we're all, and then I'll say like, how many messages have you guys sent? And everyone's like one up in each other, you know, we're all just having fun, but it's like, we're a team and we're team building together through all the different states. And just thinking about that, like that literally just made my heart, made my heart like want to jump because it just makes me so happy. Like working together with your team and seeing people go, someone just messaged me back for the first time on Instagram or like, and you're like, Oh my God, yes. Like, and you're, you're hyping them up. Everyone's hyping you up because they're, they're comedy and they're like, Oh my God, I can't believe this. Like, you know, this, 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 and this, this person responded this way and we're all helping each other. And it's just, it's so good. So make sure you guys are doing, uh, Renee, I will totally do a power hour. If you guys are down with this, Megan actually asked me, um, to stay on. And I absolutely, if you guys want to do that with me, I will totally stay on here and do a power hour with you guys. Anyone that wants to get off, that's fine. But if you want to stay on, I will totally do it. And actually I was going to say this too. Um, I know everyone's from all separate teams on here and we're all, you know, we're all here, there, wherever. But if you guys all want to, want to two, one day, you know, once a week, I will totally do even just a, a half an hour power hour. We can all get on together and make this more of like a team thing where we're all doing it 
we're one team. I'm, I am 100% one team, one mission. I will do whatever I can to help anybody wherever, whenever, <laughs> like it, but anyway, so yeah, I will totally, Renee, that's such a good idea. I will stay on here if you guys want me to. I have nothing else to do tonight. Um, and I was going to work my business when I got off anyway. So if you guys really want to do that, I can do it. I'll put on some music. We'll rock out and love each other <laughs> and inspire each other. But, um, yeah, so I, all I can say you guys is that, you know, the biggest thing is believing in yourself and believing in your team and realizing you guys that your team is going to follow what you do. And also you guys just remind yourself that it's not your team's fault if your volume is enough. Sorry, it's not. Um, my team, my volume has went down multiple times, and I've never once looked at my team and said, "Well, you know, my team's not really working this month." So, you know what I look at? I go, "How many sub success have I filled out? How many distributors have I signed? How many loyal customers have I signed?" Okay, so I hope all of you on here tonight look at yourselves. If you're looking at your team and go, "Well, no one's signing anybody," how many people have you signed? And if you have signed a bunch of people, okay, pat yourself on the back. Congratulations. Keep working. Be the one. Like, be the one person. And actually, that just got me. That just got me so excited saying be the one. Nikki knows, but, you know, and I'm just going to give you guys, like, a couple little things. But, like, you know, just hosting things for your teams or whatever. Um, you know, this weekend I'm hosting my first sleepover at my house. I'm freaking cheesing right now because I'm so happy. That's why I wanted this house because it's big enough to fit people. Uh, and I wait. <laughs> to spoil it here, I know Megan's going to be there. And we have so much awesome stuff, but our, but our hashtag is be the one. Okay. And that gets me so hyped thinking about that because our thing before this was it starts with one with it works, but being the person that you are looking for okay we're so quick to jump and to be out there looking and searching wanting and it's like how about stop wanting searching wishing and just be the person that you want on your team i didn't need anybody to go where i was going i was going there with or without people and i mean that when i looked at a chart i never thought my team's gonna fill those boxes i thought i'm gonna go fill those boxes and I'm going to make my team go with me. That's, that is my thought when I go, when I go somewhere. Like, if I'm going to feel like, I never thought, okay, you know what? At Ruby, my executive position is going to fill the executive. I'm only going to fill the top three. We're going to call it a day. No, I thought I'm filling all five. I'm out here. Like, no one is going to stop me. And every single one of you should be like that on here. Like, I am nobody special. I'm no different than you. I was working... Two jobs seven days a week. My biggest fear is going back to working two jobs seven days a week. So if you're on here tonight, whatever your fear is, that's what should be driving you. But don't blame your team for your lack of success. Don't blame your team for, for things happening. Like, go out and sign more people. Talk to more people. Do more than you normally do. Double your effort. I talked to one of my girls today or yesterday and I said, you know what? I said, if you want to do more and be more then do more, like double what you're doing. You're telling me you're doing stuff. That's great. But double what you're doing. You, you're saying you want to get here, but you're not doing what it takes to get here. Like you're not going to get there. It's going to take you a year because you're doing it so slow. I'm just being honest. And they, like I said, Yes, it might be harsh at first, but they will appreciate that. They do. And it is sometimes it's hard. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, she's right. Like, I do need to do more. Like, I have to tell, I, like, I have to tell myself all the time, you're not doing enough. You haven't signed enough people. Okay? It is the 12th, and I've not signed a single distributor. But guess what? Guess who's going who's gonna to fill two steps, of, two steps of success by the end of the month? Me. And some of you are thinking, oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, okay, I will. I do it every single time. And I'm not saying I haven't been working hard for 12 days. I mess with people all day long, 40, 50 people a day. They just haven't jumped yet, but they will. And I believe it. With every bone and being in my body, I know that I'm going to, to at least sign six distributors this month. 
I don't care if it takes every single day. I will do it. You need to believe in yourself. The corporate team believes in you. I believe in you. Every single one of your uplines, downlines, sidelines, whatever, we all believe in you. But if you don't believe in yourself, yeah, you're right. You're not going to do it. Like Cami always says, whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right. It's seriously, it's all about your mind. If your mind isn't right and you wake up every day in a pissed off mood and you're crying fucking poor me's all day long, then you're right. That's you. Like, cry, cry me a river. We all have shit happen to us all day long. I have stuff happening all I had a freaking pipe in my house break. I've had my air conditioner go out and now they're telling me I have to rip down a wall to get it out. So you know how much money that's gonna cost? I mean, I could be crying, be, I could be like, damn, dude, why did I even buy this house? Like, this is so much money. Like, but I'm not, because you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna figure it out, it's not that big of a deal. I wake up every day and I'm happy and I'm ready to go and I'm excited because every day is a new day and every day you have the ability to allow your mind to go over wherever you want. And there's two ways. It's either happy or mad. You make the decision. And when you make that decision, you're not only making that for your family, but you're making that for your team. Your team feels your energy. Your team feels your excitement. And I'll tell you something. If there's one thing I know, I may not be a perfect leader. I may not always say the right things. I may do things not the right way, but I will tell you, my team knows how much I love it works and how I will never leave this company. This is my home. So you better get that in your blood and in your mind. Stop looking at all the other, other things going on around you and don't think that shit hasn't happened to me. Some of you guys are probably thinking, well, it's probably been such an easy road for her. No, it hasn't. Past couple months have actually been the hardest months in my business. Do you want to know? Because you don't need to know. It's none of your business. It's none of your, it's none of your Facebook friends' business. They don't need to know, right? You know why? Because things will get better. And this is what I always ask people. I say, when you're really, really low, can any of you guys think of a time when you've been really, really low? I'm not even just saying in business. I'm just thinking like in life in general. You've been so low, okay? Like, have you ever been so low and then you came out of it though, right? Okay, so question though. Seriously, you've been so low. Did you come out of it? Okay, everyone's basically shaking their head. Okay. So don't you think it's the same thing with everything in life? Like, whether your business is your business might not be going perfect right now. Maybe it isn't the highest it's always been, but don't you think it's only going to get better? Like you're, you're, you're going to allow yourself to get better. It's going to get better because of you, because you made up, made a decision in your mind to not let anything get you down. The culture with it works. The love from the people, I don't care what anyone says. If you're only looking at a few people who are naysayers and, and just shitty people, well, that's on you. I'm serious. We could all look at people who suck in this business, right? There's always going to be a, uh, you know, a bad apple in the tree. Maybe a few bad apples. But there's also a thousand good people. There's a thousand good apples. So what are you looking at? Look at the good in the business. Look at the good things that are happening. Look at the friendships, the fun. And when people say they're rebuilding, guys, guess what? There's no such thing as rebuilding. It's just building in general. You're always going to have things come down. You're always going to have things go up. You're always going to have things come down. You're always going to have things go up. It's called just building. You're constantly building. So on the months that you're not signing people, well, that's your problem. You're not signing anybody. So you're not building. So yeah, you're having to rebuild because you're not even building what you're supposed to be building. Do you see Joel and Stephanie quitting what they're doing even though they're the number one in the business? She's still one of the number one enrollers in loyal customers and distributors. She never stops. And some of you are probably thinking, well, damn, that's draining. I thought we were able to just make beach money. Yeah, you can make beach money. And they do make beach money. But that doesn't mean they still don't want more. They want to be better. They want to lead by example. They want to show you that you can still do it. So what are you out here showing your team? Serious question. I'm not going to lie. And I'm saying this because I feel like a lot of you need to hear this. 
I haven't signed a single distributor. I've told you that just being honest with you because some of you need to hear that. Some of you think that at ambassador level, it's, it's like easier or something or whatever. It's actually harder for me. I am done. My war market is gone. Go, like so gone. It's not even funny. It's all cold. And now I'm really having to make relationships, reach out to people, talk to people all day long. Like that's just how it is. But guess what? If you think hard is sitting on your phone for an hour sending messages, you need a reality check. Because hard was when I was working two jobs seven days a week, never seeing my son. That was, was what was hard. So when you're complaining about your hard or too much sacrifice, okay, well, you know what? Maybe you're just sitting on your phone all day scrolling. Like, that's on you. How about you take an hour or two and actually work the business and then you'll see how hard it really is. I know what hard is because when we got so bad, I had to pick up that second job and my second job, I say that so loosely to you guys, but it was really two jobs full time because my second job was not only Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but then I started picking up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday because things started breaking around the house. We didn't have gas money. We didn't have groceries. I was tired as hell. Never saw my son. But you wouldn't know. No one would have known that I was tired. I didn't show them, because it's life. I made a decision not to go to college. And even if I did go to college, who knows if I would have got the career that I went to college for. But that's just life. Life isn't against you, life is for you. God has things for you. So stop saying things are against me. Stop thinking your business is against you. Your team is against you. Things aren't working out for you. Things are for you. You are just putting that in your own mind. God has a 15 bedroom, 16 bath mansion with a pool, uh, a tennis court, a basketball court indoors, like four plate floor plan for you and you're over here worried about your three bedroom, two bathroom floor plan. And you're never going to get there because you're so wrapped up in your little mind over here that you can't even see the vision that there's something so much bigger for you. Get outside of your comfort zone and get out of the box. You are meant for more. I seriously mean that so much. I wish I could literally just hug people all day long and tell people how worthy they are of all the things that they've ever wanted in life. Because the graveyard is the place that's going to have the most dreams. You know why? Because people die with their dreams. They never chase them. So they say in the graveyard is where you're going to find the most dreams. Because people never achieve them. They keep them in their mind. People tell them they can't do shit. They, they're not good enough. And some of you are sitting on here right now. People are telling you that right now. You're not good enough. Might as well quit. Maybe your team hasn't, hasn't gone where they're supposed to go. But that's not on your team. That's on you. Put it on you. And don't make that a bad thing. Just say, you know what? No one wants this as bad as I do, but I want it. And no one's going to stand in my way. Nobody. And I'll tell you one thing. No one will ever stand in my way. If I crumble down to nothing, I'll go right back to the top. Watch me. Every single one of you should feel the same way. It shouldn't even scare you. You should say, you know what? All right, go. I don't need you. I need people who want this. I need people who need heart, who have heart and who have grit. Because that's what this business takes. Don't lie to your people and tell them that this is easy. Don't tell them they're just wearing stuff and walking around. That's one of my, that is one of the most, let me just say, it's one of the most hated posts I ever see is you're just gonna wear this gear and some of you are like, damn, dude, I do post that. You're gonna wear this gear and you're gonna put, no, it's not how it works. This business takes grit, it takes heart, it takes going out there, talking to people, putting yourself out there and not taking no for an answer. That's what this business is. So don't lie to people when you talk to them. Don't lie to your teams and tell them it's easy. Let them know that it takes work, but it is simple. We have a simple three-step system that you're gonna be able to show them. Can they learn? Hell yeah, they can. And you're going to teach them how to do that. But don't think for one second that your business is a reflection of what you've done and where you're going. Every single one of you that are on here tonight can be an ambassador, but you have to 
in 55 million percent believe it. And if you don't, you're not going there. I can promise you that. You're not. Because the person that's next to you, that's driven, that's ready to go, believes it with everything in them that they're they're made for more, they're going there. And they don't care how long it takes. I don't care. I know I don't. I wanted to get to double diamond in two years. That was my goal. And let me say goal very loosely because some of you guys have quitting on your mind. You're like, if I don't get to ambassador in five years, I quit. Okay, quit. Go back to what you did. Why'd you even start then? Quitting has never been on my mind. Ever. I don't care how long it took me. All I could say was making $100 made me happy. Making $500 made me happy. When I saw Double Diamond, I was like, $6,000 a month? I told everyone around me I was going to be rich. So imagine how I feel now, ambassador. I feel very rich. <laughs> and I don't mean that mean. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that in a laugh, like loosely laugh, because seriously, I thought Double Diamond, $6,000? Rich! And then I was like, what? When I got to ambassador, I was like, what is even happening? How is is this a joke? Where's Ashton? See, you played a joke on me? He's kidding. Someone's playing a joke. Where's MTV? Because this is a joke. Like, no way. And then I realized, okay, <laughs> this is real. And every single one of you deserve to feel that way. To go, damn, this is real. This is a lottery money. This is real money coming in every single month. But you got to work for it. You got to want it. You got to believe it. You got to know it. Okay, sorry. I just got crazy. Sorry, Meg. No, you're fine. That's exactly what I think everybody needed. I know I needed it, even though I can call you up and get it. <laughs> but that's exactly what we needed. Like, there's been so many Zooms with just tips after tips, and most of them are the exact same thing. Just get to work and do it. And if your mind is right, you guys want this bad enough, you, you can do it. You just have to do it. I remember about messaging, like, I went diamond, and I believe I went double diamond and triple diamond. In presidential, well, probably not triple and presidential, but I went, I'm an adult from messaging on Facebook. Why did I stop doing it? Why did everybody stop doing it? Yes, it's cold messaging, but I don't know. Everybody just all of a sudden started hating it. But, you know, you it, Instagram and Facebook are so different. They're so different. So get to Instagram. You're going to find that out. You can message all day long. And I've never had one person say anything to me. Exactly. It's so oh. awesome, isn't it, Meg? It is. Like when we talked about that one day a couple weeks back, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, um, but thank you so much. Literally, that was exactly what we wanted, exactly what we needed. And I just love you so much. And I know everybody on here is just I love you too. fired up. Like I'm over here sweating. <laughs> <laughs> well, Caitlin just asked me a good question. So if we're going to end this, I just want to answer it. I feel like this is a good question. Yeah, go ahead. Caitlin said when... You see, when people see people leaving your team every week to go to another business, how do you keep your blinders on? Uh, because I don't give a shit about the other businesses. And if someone wants to leave my team to go to another business, go. You want to leave for some bullshit company? Go leave. Like, do you? See you in a week. See you in a month. See you in two. Like, I know what I have. I know what this business is. I don't need, I don't even, like, I'll tell you one thing right now. I don't even look at other businesses. People leave my team. I actually just had one of my best, best friends leave for another company. It broke my heart. It did. It was really, really hard to deal with. A lot of people don't know it. Never talked about it because it wasn't anyone's business. But... What I realized is the people who left weren't even working. So bye. You're a hair out of the biscuit. Seriously. If you are mad because people are leaving your business to go to some other junk ass business, well then go. Like, I know what I have. I know what corporate has. I know what's coming. I know, I mean, literally like none of that even fat, like, and I, I'm not saying it doesn't hurt my feelings and that doesn't get me like upset. I'm human. You guys, I'm not a robot, but I will tell you, you don't even talk about it with your team. You know why you don't talk about it? Half your team doesn't know. 
And if your team does come to you, you can talk about it with them privately, but you don't need to be bringing it to their attention because all you're doing in it by bringing it to their attention is allowing them to go back and look at what you're, you're so wrapped up in. Stop worrying about these other companies, a certain company is all I can say. Stop worrying about them. They're trash. <laughs> can count on me to say whatever I want to say, right? <laughs> but seriously, they're trash. So screw them. Don't allow them to, to even get you going. Seriously, I mean that. You will regret, and every person that leaves is going to regret leaving for some trash company out of it works because we don't even like, let me tell you something. Katrina with field development uh, met with us two weeks ago at our uh, mini boot camp. Like she all had us like straight up goosebumps because she was saying that we're not even like, she was like, I've been with multiple companies, Tiffany, and I've never seen promotions and things that are coming out in my life with any other company that I see right now. She goes, you guys aren't even like, she's like, I, I don't, I don't even know what to, I can't even say anything more to you because I don't even know what to say. She's like, you guys are, are don't, don't even have words for what's about to happen. I was, we all were like, what do you mean you're freaking us out? And she's like, you're going to freak out. She's like, and you're not going to even know what to say because it's going to be that crazy. We were like, let's go. I'm so hyped right now, you guys. You're in the right business at the right time. You have the best CEOs in the game. We're a debt-free company. We have the best products. If you don't think we have the best products out in the game, you need to get real. All I'm saying is they've met, we have no one has ever seen anything like this before. Shit is about to get real. Bonuses are about to be off the hook. You thought double, doubling the boat. She was like, that's not even, like not even, oh my God, I can't even, I can't even right now. I'm getting goose, my dad calls them goose pimples. <laughs> Instead of goosebumps. He says, I'm getting goose pimples right now, just thinking about it. Because he's so hyped. Like, I'm so hyped right now. I'm, I literally feel a fire in me that I have not felt since when I first joined. I feel like 2018, these past two months, I mean, seriously, November, I don't care what you guys say, our team, highest volume I've ever had, even in our highest months, when I first joined, highest volume we've ever, we've ever had in November. So don't tell me that this is a slow mud or slow season. Our team is killing it right now. Go out there, message people, talk to people, ask people. And I'm telling you, 2018, you guys aren't even ready for what's about to come. And whoo, I just got hyped. Shit is about to get real. You guys, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't be looking left and right. Don't be looking at some junk ass company like that. Well, thank you so much, Tiffany. I love you so much. Seriously. This is exactly I love you too. Um, all right, guys. So this is recorded, so we're going to hop off. And we're most likely, if we do a power hour, we'll post it to everybody. Um, I'll post it to my team. And then the other presidential will post it to their team. But we're going to go ahead and hop off. Tiffany, stay on. Um, okay. We're just going to keep the, the presidentials on. Okay. Thank you, guys. Right. Thank you.